This is Kathy Mooney with Mooncat Designs and I'm going to show you how I hoop hats. There are instructions in the operating manual on how to adjust the hat driver to the machine and the mounting jig and the hat hoop to fit the type of hat you're working with. Having your equipment properly adjusted does affect the finished product. I recommend you taking the time to do that. In the presentation, I'm going to uh, talk about spikes, clamping frame, and creases. So when I talk about spikes, I'm referring to the spikes that are directly on the hat hoop that would typically hold your stabilizer. When I talk about the clamping frame, this is the camping, clamping frame on the hat hoop. And if I refer to a crease, I'm talking about where the hat itself meets the sweatband or the brim. Right inside there in that area is the crease. My attempt at hooping hats is to get them straight, tightly fitted, and as flat as possible. According to the image shown in the manual, the edge of the sweatband should be flush against the frame, like that. And when I talk about I like to have the hat flat, I'm referring to this area right here. I don't want it to slope up or be wrinkled or distorted because it, it's not a good sewing surface. If the hat is flush against the frame, as shown in the, in the manual, It puts the center of the design approximately right here, which is about two inches off the brim. And if you take the hat and you move it farther away from the frame, hat frame, then it takes the design and moves it down farther. If I'm hooping a hat for the front and center of a design, uh, for front and center design. What I do is I'll take the seam, uh, the crease of the design and put it directly on top of the spikes. And sometimes that'll cause the hat to slope up a little bit right here because there's a, such a bulky area. So I'll take the clamping uh, frame, loosen it up here at the screws, because if, if I just tried to move it around and pull it and stretch it, it's going to bend it out of shape. So I'll loosen it up here, clamp it down, make sure you tighten it back up. And then when you clamp it down, it will um, flatten this area back out. And if, it, if the crease is directly on top of the spikes, it brings the center of your design to approximately one and three-fourths off of the brim. Oh, and also, if you'll notice, um, th this right here is the brim holder. What I don't use, I don't use the brim holder. And the reason why is because if I take the brim and I pull it forward according to the instructions, notice this part right here. If I pull it forward to put it underneath here, it pulls it and distorts the front of it. I can't even get it in there. Anyways, I never use it anyway. I keep it flat like that because I like this area to be nice and flat when I'm sewing. So to place the design lower, close to the brim, I take the crease of the hat and I put it on the outside of the spikes. You have to make sure that your sweatband is caught underneath the clamping frame on both sides. Again, you're going to need to loosen up the clamping frame just a little bit. And if you have several hats to do, you only have to do it for the first hat, and then, then they all should fit properly, so it won't take a lot of your time. I put the um, crease of the hat directly on, the, uh, on this side of the spikes. Then I put the clamping frame right up against the brim. Tighten it down with these black clamps on the side, and it really holds it in place well. It's not going to come off, and it's nice and flat here. And I know by this time everybody that's watching is saying that the brim is going to hit the back of the machine. Well, I agree, it is going to hit the back of the machine. So what I do at that point, 
I don't pull the brim forward and put it underneath here because it will um, distort this area. But I'll take a piece of heavy duty packing tape and I bend it forward. Now while it's sewing, you might hear it do that, but it's not, it's not gonna be an issue, it's not gonna be a problem. It still will hit the back of your machine, but I've never had it give me any problems with hitting the back, as long as I pull this forward like that. It's always worked for me. And then I, uh, the center is here, I can get a one inch design, one inch um, word or uh, whatever I'm putting on here and put it put it right here on the uh, either side or in the center close to the to the brim. Works for me. I hope it works for you.